Welcome to our finale of Sefer Shemois. This week is Parsha of Yaakov Pekude. So we will going to be learning uh, a little bit from Vayakal and a little bit from Pekude, and we'll finish Sefer Shemois by Ezra Hashem Yisbarach. Chevra, let's learn. So the Klai is bringing everything. The Chachamim that are doing their uh, difficult work, the Malacha Sakhaydish, their holy work, Ish Ish Mimalachta, each one from his Malacha Shrahim Oisim, and whatever they were doing, Vayavayot they came. Rabbi Yaakov finds in these Psukim such Shtaka Musr, good Musr for all of us to hear, something which is um, difficult. Because every day, Mincha rolls around at the worst possible time. For some, somehow, Mincha never shows up at the right time. So, Rabbi Yaakov reminds us of a Gemara in Brachas. Amrav Chalbay, Amrav Huna. Lo'aylam yehi adam zayr betfilas ha-mincha. A person always has to be careful with tefilas mincha. Sharei Eliyahu lo'y na'ana el betfilas ha-mincha. Remember the story of El Yohanavi and Har Carmel, And he was... Uh, it was they had this big um, um, competition, a uh, debate between him and the Nevei Habal, and he's diving there all day, but he is not answered until Vayiba Aleis Hamincha. It's only when he davened at Mincha time when he got answered. So Mincha is a very precious tefillah. The problem is Mincha is always when we're working. We're always in the middle of something. When it's time for mincha, it's in the in the winter. It's dinner time. In uh, I'm sorry, in the summer it's dinner time, and in the winter it's the middle of the of your of your of our work day. Mincha just shows up. Rabbi Yaakov says, if you want to know a person's year shemayim, is interesting where his year shemayim is. See if he makes time for mincha. Now Rabbi Yaakov says this is marum is an hour pasuk. Hakodesh ish. So look at the Rashi Tevis of these words. Who are the Chachamim? The Chachamim are people who realize that even though they're in the middle of Malach, even though in the middle of work, they're going to come to do Malachas Hakodesh. They, those are the Chacham, the Yerushalayim, the Chacham, the wise men. They're the ones that are going to come to do Malachas Hakodesh. They're going to come to do a holy work. They're going to daven mincha. Who is that wise man? Rashi Tevis. The Rashi Tevis. It means the first word of the first letter of each word equals one hundred and three. That's the gematria of Mincha. And these are the people that ish ish When they're in the middle of their malacha, when they're in the middle of work, they're the ones who come to Davin Mincha. Good Musar. You see, they're the people that are called Chacham. Says Rabbi Yaakov. You want that's who a wise man is. Now, the problem is, is that you're concerned if I'm going to stop my work, then uh, will I have enough to eat? So Rebecca says, look at the next, uh, three later. So you want to know how to have v'hoiser. You want to know how to have more? So Rebecca gives us the eitzah. He says, you know what you have to say? Work, it's ganik. I did enough work. When we could say about Malacha is a dime, when it comes time for Mincha, when it comes time to learn, when we're able to say the Malacha is enough, die, then Hakash Baruch Hu says, Fahaisa, I will give you more. That's Parshas Vayaka. Let's move on to Parshas Pikudi. So we're talking about the different um, um, uh, begadim of the, of the Kain Gadol. And the one that went on his forehead, Vayasu es tzitz nezra It was like a crown that was on his head that was pure gold. V'yichtavu alav michtav petuch echoysam. And you get the engraved words of like the signet ring that were on the tzitz, and it would say, Kodesh l'ashem. And then there was a psil t'cheles, a bit of, of t'cheles, uh, that would be put on top of the mitzvahs, kasher tziva Hashem as Moshe. So Yaakov says that here in these pesukim we have a remez to the tefillah. Now the tefillah need to be very, very be held very um, in great esteem. 
We have to keep them pure. We have to keep our thoughts pure, our actions pure while we're, while we're wearing our tefillin. The tefillin in them, inside, have the shame Havaya, the shame Yud Kevavke, 21 times. On the outside of the tefillin, we have another shame Hashem, the shame Shakai Shin Dalet Yud. The shin is on the tefillin shalresh. On either side, you have a three-pronged shin on one side and a, a four-pronged shin on the other side. The knot on the back of your head is a dalid. Some people have a double dalid that looks like a square, but it's supposed to be a, it's a dalid. And then on your tefillin shalyad, you have a knot. Is made, it looks like a little yud. That's the shame shakai. So outside of your tefillin, you have a shame shakai. On the inside of your tefillin, you have 21 shemes of avaya. What's the significance of 21 shemes of avaya? The gematria of ekya, the shame alat hey yud hey, like ekya asher ekya, that shame of ekya of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is a gematria 21. So you inside your tefillin, you have a tzir, you have a combination of the shame havaya equaling the number of uh, the shame ekya. That's in the tefillin. Now the tefillin, says Rabbi Yaakov, the Yasu eats Nezer HaKadosh Zahavtar. How they marum is in the tzitz. Where do we find tefillin? Marum is in the tzitz. So the Rashi Tevis of tzitz Nezer HaKadosh, Tzaldik, Nun, Hey, no, it should be the Seife Tevis. That's a mistake. The Seife Tevis of the shame of the of the word sits Nezer Kodesh. That's the Shin, Reish, and Sadik. That the Seife Tevis are five hundred and ninety. Tzvillin equals five hundred and seventy plus that twenty one we get with the twenty one Havayas that are in the Tzvillin bring us up to five ninety one. You take one for the phrase. They have sits Nezer Kodesh's Marumas to the Tzvillin. The word, the words, the phrase, HaKadosh Zahav Tahar, the Rashi Tevis, Hey, Zayin, Tez, give us 21, a remnant to the 21 Havayas. HaKadosh Zahav, you take the Rashi Tevis and the Seifi Tevis, that means the first letter and the last letter of these words that gives you the Shem Shakai 314. So we see that the Tefillin Amirum is in the Tzitz. So we make the Tzitz, the Nezer HaKadosh Zahav Tahar, we got to keep it pure. One way to keep it pure, that Rizal says, is by keeping the talus over your head. That Rizal says you're supposed to put on your talus before your tefillin. And this way you're always able to keep your tefillin covered. That's a way of symbolizing, protecting your tefillin. Vayitnu ola p'sil t'chilas. You put a p'sil t'chilas, which is marumas, to the tzitzes. Lasis al mitztafes amal. And you put that on top of your tefillin, malama. Rabbi Yaakov ends Sefer Shemais with a tefillah that as we have learned the, um, I'll read it for you. Fortunate, may Hashem, our God, be with us as he has, with, has been with our forefathers. May he not forsake us nor cast us off. May he turn our hearts to him all the days of our lives. We should be zeichet to continue learning the Torah of Rabbi Yaakov, of Yichatzei, Rabbi Ezra Hashem, continuing in Pasha's value. Chazak, chazak, v'nis chazik.